import iOS scan and create virtual tooth setup. So once we've imported the CBCT plan, the next step in the process is to import the intraoral scan of the uh, dental, uh, the dental model. <clears throat> so we could either do that through a physical impression with impression material, or we can do that with an intraoral scan. Here's a demonstration of importing an intraoral scan. So we're going to go to the second tab up top where it says prosthetics, and then we are going to select dental scan on the top left. We'll then go to select a dental scan folder in the middle here, and we click on that. We'll left click on that folder. And wherever we've exported the, the uh, it's either a .stl or .ply file from the intraoral scanning software, we're going to go to that folder to where we exported to, and we'll select that file. We'll then open the file verify that this is the correct scan and then on the bottom right it'll say select scanner or change scanner if it doesn't initially recognize it and then it gives us various brands if it doesn't have the brand that we're currently utilizing then we'll, we'll just select other and then select scanner on the bottom right of that window and then bottom right next so it's the same way with the CBCT uh, as it is with the intraoral scan. If we're converting that information into the planning software, we're always going to think bottom right if we're stuck. It's going to give us the option of next, or it's going to give us the option of finish. And then it's going to give us the option of selecting which teeth are missing currently in the patient's mouth. And then the initial, once we've got the intro scan imported in, it's going to have us select different teeth numbers. And the cursor will say what, what tooth numbers we want to select. And there's going to be four different teeth that we select. You'll see it distributed here. The cursor will tell us which teeth to select. And then once we've done that, we'll go to bottom right and click Next. And now we're going through the process of what's called smart fusion. So we're, we're fusing the CBCT information with the digital dental cast. So in this situation, it failed to align. So when that happens, it's gonna, the software is gonna have us go through and select various different points on the 3D model of the CBCT scan, and then also on the intraoral scan. This happens when there's a fair amount of scatter in the uh, cone beam scan. Uh, I had talked about this in the C CBCT conversion data. This is where you're going to go into the ISO values of the patient and reduce that ISO value to be able to select a, a cusp or a tip. The only way we'll be able to do that is if we considerably reduce the ISO values of the CBCT into where the, the last thing that we see are those restorations. So we'll select one point on the CBCT, one point on the intraoral scan, back and forth, the same exact position on each one. Once we've done that, we think bottom right, finish, and then it goes through that smart fusion process again. So what we want to see once we've got everything fused together is that the, the pink line of the dental cast is intimately outlining the information of the teeth, the soft tissue of the CBCT. If that outline outlines those teeth accurately, then we know that the, the fusion was done accurately. If that pink line went through the middle of that tooth or was above it, we had known that something was off and we would have to go through that process of indica indicating points to get it to line up.
and then bottom right, finish. We're now into the planning software. If we want to load in the opposing intraoral scan, we can do that through what's called the antagonist scan, and that'll be under the prosthetics tab up top. In this situation, they're selecting a PLY scan of the opposing. Verify that it's the correct patient and arch. Right brand, bottom right, click next. And if we've done an occlusion scan, it'll load that information into the software in occlusion. And that's what you see here in this situation. Next step would be smart setup. And we're going to create a, a virtual tooth setup, uh, basically a virtual wax up within that edentulous area that we've selected. So we're verifying that it's these teeth numbers here. We verify those positions. And then in the bottom right, we'll click next. And it creates a virtual two setup in that edentulous area. By having the antagonist scan and the occlusion scan, these setups are going to be much more accurate because it's based off of all of that information. If we didn't have that information and we just loaded in the CBCT and the intraoral scan of the arch that we're treating, then it's still fairly accurate, but it's not going to be dialed in as much if we have it in occlusion. It'll have these restorations in occlusion and proper occlusion um, based off of the opposing antagonist scan. You do have the ability to edit this information as well. So over here, you'll see translation to where we can we can move it bodily, we can rotate the restoration, we can scale it, we can make it bigger, we can make it smaller, and if there's, we want to reset it to back to the initial image, we just say reset tooth. Here's a demonstration of all those various options. So you're going to highlight whichever tooth you're going to be editing, you do one at a time. And then once you're finished, you go to bottom right and hit finish. And now we're back into the planning software. On the right side here, it's what's called a visibility editor. So we can take away the 3D image of the cone beam with the patient model. We have the visibility of the dental scan, which you see on the left side. We've taken away the antagonist scan, so that's no longer there, and then the smart tooth setup. So whatever we want to see make visible on the left side here, we're going to be checking these on the visibility editor on the right side. We can also add in the different re-slices. Um, the most important one, obviously, is our, our cross-sectional re-slice when we're planning the implant, and that's what you see here on the right window.